Hi guys, welcome once again down here to Taurus. It's the Canal Street Sessions with myself, Billy Jean. Tonight we've got John here from Man Bears, all by yourself. I'm all by myself. Oh, with myself. I know, I know. It's, uh, but we're all beavering away, getting ready for this year's Bear Bash. 16th year of the Great British Bear Bash. Um, the theme this year is Journey to Your Anus. We'll come back to the theme later on. 16 years, it's a long time. It must be one of the longest events going in, well, in, in the gay calendar, must be. Um, we've been successful. Um, we worked really hard to get there. It started off as just a Saturday night in what used to be Wells Fargo, right. then became the outpost, which yeah. is we've slightly lost. Um, and it started as a community thing. Yeah. So people could make friends and see things. And over the years, it's grown into club events, pool party, sauna, Cabaret afternoon at the bird cage, and we've been really lucky that we've over the years raised lots of money for various charities. So that's why we keep doing it. And every year, we must be doing something right. Could we get the same guys coming back? I was going to say it's non profitable, isn't it? It's, it's a, totally it's not charity. Yeah. It's totally um, we're non funded. Anything mm -hmm. anybody we do raise, either through ticket sales or the raffle or donations, um, goes straight mm -hmm. to whichever our chosen charity is. Right. This year, um, as last year, it's George House Trust, right? Because they're really worthwhile cause, and Great they're they're one of the you know few people who don't get a lot of funding from anybody else. They're not a big, well-known charity, so mm -hmm. anything they get, they are really grateful for, and it's used in such a good way. We're more than happy to touch it. Sixteen years of fundraising. Any charity target that you've done? Have you have you raised X amount of money or just? Um, I, I'll be honest, I've lost count. I mean, some years, it all depends. Like, some years we've probably only raised maybe three, four, five hundred pounds. Oh, Other years it's been thousands. Oh. Um, it all depends on economic climate, yeah, how yeah. many people have got to go off yeah, totally. and totally. raffle tickets and how well ticket sales go. Um, last year we were able to give them two thousand pounds. Right. Um, I've told them this year. You know, I can't promise another two thousand, but whatever we make, and they will get. I'm a little bit more than appreciative. Anyway. This what? year, there's been a lot of um, it's been a bit of a struggle for you to get the weekend set up because we've lost legends out of the village. Um, any news on what's happening this year for you? Is that, are, are we all um, back on track now? Or? We're back on track, thankfully, and it's with a lot of thanks to those people in the Manchester Gay community who helped us yeah. get getting there. Um, Basically, Man Bears this year had to start from zero. We had no dedicated bar, certainly no club nights. Um, we managed to get a venue for Friday and Sunday, and of course we had the birdcage, but we couldn't get a Saturday. Nobody wanted to know, um, because a lot of venues already had nights booked in, or they preferred to have a little bit of money on a regular basis, as opposed to a lot of money over, right. over, over one yeah. weekend. But it's come together. There's been a lot of hard work. Some people haven't been too happy because we've not put out there, this is what we're doing, this is what we're yeah. doing. Um, simply because until we had something that tangible, we could say, well, this is where we are. We didn't want to go there. But we've worked damn hard, um, thanks to Polly at Taurus, who put us in touch with John Hamilton, who put us in touch with... We've now got a great venue for the Saturday night, which is NQ Live. NQ Live, which is over just on the edge of the Northern Quarter. It, it is. It's, it's actually in between Affleck's yeah. Palace and Sasha Hotel. Well, what's funny, Twisted Wheel, whose yeah. home for 30 years was Legend. the Outpost yeah. Legends, now are based in NQ Live. How people you were expecting? Right. Past years, we've had anywhere between... 700 and a thousand, depending. Uh, I'm honestly not sure this year. We'll probably have around about 500. It may be more, yeah. but because we weren't able to sell a full package right. early on, people are waiting to see. Now that Saturday night has gone on sale and people know there's a club mm. night, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, yeah. and the package includes the bird cage, and we've got the pool party, and the sauna, <laughs> and all the other things. The pool parties at Moss Side. Uh, if people go yes. to the Man Bears website, which if it's okay with you, I'll give the address, yeah. which is um, manbears.co.uk. That's the click on the shop. And they can buy um, tickets for all the events. Um, we've got some really good acts coming up for the bird cake, one or two surprises. And again, Jonathan Mayer is our host. Right. Um, and most people 
around and about knows John as yeah, an definitely. anarchic he can be. So the birdcage thing is when <laughs> when we met last time, you were explaining to me about the birdcage and how it's a bit of a feast. It is. is that right? Um, well, well, basically, bears like their food apart from drink. So during the first <laughs> interval, we got um, a permanent arrangement with Greg's. That they open up on the Sunday morning, and we order seven hundred pasties, and sausage rolls, and <coughs> cheese, and onion pasties with the vegetarians. Not that there are many, and occasionally, which I will might do cupcakes. And it's like a feeding frenzy. We just say it's the interval. Food's at the back, and it's, it's amazing. Wash, yeah. um, and on the tables will stick crisps and chocolate and nuts. Yeah. We would like to keep them fed and happy. Give them alcohol and food. A nice looking man, and those bears are happy. <laughs> the bears are happy as bears in, so, in the woods. It's the 16th year this year. Mm -hmm. The themes, does the theme run over the whole event? Is it, it, it does run over the whole event. People are um, encouraged to dress up. Or? Well, what we're doing on the Friday night this year is um, superhero t shirts. So, if anybody, you know, a lot of bears seem to be into sci fi and superheroes and things like that. So, Friday night's there. Saturday night can be that, and if people want to dress up in, in, in sci-fi. Um, over the years we've had various themes. It just gives something people to hang the weekend on, to focus, on, to focus yeah. on. The year we did school reunion, I've never seen so many 18 stone, <laughs> six foot men in short grey trousers, grey socks, shirts and ties, <laughs> and, and, it. and it was... It was heaven basically. <laughs> well, we've had some good, good things. We've had Mounties, Army, police, Navy, Police. Just uh, just people. Not to worry. Yeah. Uh, this year's this Bear Bash is. Interest. That's why you think. Well, yeah. This year's Bear Bash is well underway. Everything's organised. Um, with luck, there will be a pre hibernation this year. Cause we didn't do one last right. year because we did know about if Legend yeah. would still be right. here. Right. Um, and next year's Bear Bash, GBB 17, is already being planned and everything, wow. so hopefully people, this has been a tough one. Um, well, out of 16, a lot of ones, not really, yeah, yeah. if you think about it. This has been our Achilles heel, we'll get over this one and we'll be back on track. Right. Right. So, John from Man Bears, thank you so much for joining us, I'll thank see you, you. We, we might try and come down to the birdcage and do some little vox pops or something It'd like that. It would be lovely to see yeah, you. Yeah, that would be great, that would be great, thank you so much. Thank Cheers. you very much.